Okay, very briefly, this is a video for Landshark 22, and uh, what it is, it's a question about holsters. And I have, I have three, I believe what's going to be three, three holster needs coming up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the least, the least important, which is like for a gun that I don't even have yet, and and its use. Uh, the least important one for a SIG P239. Uh, my requirements for that particular holster would be uh, deep, deep concealment. SIG P239 deep concealment. I'm not really sure ballpark what, what sort of money I would have to put out on that. And uh, I'm very interested in what you have to say about that. What I've, what I've looked for initially was uh, some of those uh, cross draw undershirts, that type of deal. But anything you got on that would be great. Uh, second least is going to be an ankle carry for a Smith & Wesson J-Frame snub nose and a Ruger LCR. I'd like to have it have the ability to, to carry both. Uh, ankle carry, I'm thinking inside, left leg, that sort of thing. I, I'm really interested in what you have there. Any sort of new technologies or tried and true, what you like to what you like to use. Uh, the J Frame Smith, I'm thinking hammered, not uh, not not hooded or hammerless. Okay. Now, onto the meat and potatoes of it, and the exact and ready for it in the market for it need. Uh, Glock 19, concealed carry, uh, emphasis on concealability and maneuverability like uh, I'm not really I'm not exactly thinking like one of them huge ass paddles or anything I need to be able to work flex uh, run and move around with with as much concealability on that as possible what my thoughts on it offhand were were something around a uh, uh, do, 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 do inside the waistband, which is kind of my preference and that I like to be able to, to say wear a t-shirt and not have to go with a jacket or, or wear like two shirts or anything like that. Uh, the other portion, I, I understand that if it, if it would require say a, a gun belt or something a little bit sturdy, I'm interested in, in that. Uh, my budget that I'm thinking offhand is, uh, putting aside about a hundred dollars for that sort of sort of a kit, and if I need to adjust or your thoughts on the matter are much appreciated. Thanks a bunch.